Okay, here we have an unboxing of some of our studio's equipment. I am going to walk you through what it is we got, an approximation of what it cost, and whether or not uh, it is good. So, first comes first. We have colored windscreens. These come in a seven pack variety. One, two, three, four, five, eight. And as you see, there is a black, a blue. Well, there's colors. You get it. All of them. This thing here, I'll come back to that. I don't fully understand that. We got this is this. Well, let's go. Let's do this one first, obviously. This is a, a boom arm. Here comes the boom. What this does is it attaches to something with the uh, clampy jim. And yeah. So this has springs. That is a spring that is functioning. Close that up for you. This boom was uh, $32 off of Amazon. Very. Uh, Comparative price. I had looked around. Wind socks were fourteen dollars. Wind screens, whatever you call them, uh, that will be a colloquial mannerism. Wherever you're from, you will call them different things. I call them stupid little clown noses. So we have our arm here, which we talked about, and that's got an uh, XLR plug-in. XLR, I think. Get a close-up of that. You'll probably know better than me <laughs> what plug that is. So you plug that in. Got your clampy donk. That goes on the side of Jimmy Jim. Biggity boppity boopity beep. And you, uh, you know, do it better, of course, but put that on there. And then you gotta get the. Somebody can help me, but too. Uh, and then you put the sprocketer on. Or this thing is like a shock absorb it. Get up on that, me. This is a shock absorber for the uh, microphone. Hey, how you doing? You bump it or what newt, you uh, minimize the struggle. And the struggle is, oh, let me get that mic. Hold on. I got a, m a mic here. Oh, I dropped the clamp. That's broken. Broke the clamp. This goes in here. <laughs> and then you could bump it. Don't purposely bump it. Be careful. With the delicacies of it but it uh I made mean, some sort of plastic and rope or some sort of weird fiber this is made of metal and a cord like material this upsettingly seems to be a hard plastic or shiesty metal and these i'm gonna say polyester because i don't really care uh main china so yeah, that's Main China. And that is your boom mic and windscreen variety. I would give the boom mic without setting it up and having any sort of base for rating it, just by looks alone, I'd give it a three out of 11 stars. Now double that, six out of 11, just on looks. That mic doesn't count. And the wind socks, very flimsy. They were a little poofy. It's like a food commercial where the burger's all big and then you get it and it's weird. That's how these were. These, okay. All right. Uh, these were not off of Amazon. These scissors could maybe I get a. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and unearth the windscreen just for. No reason at all. Probably gonna cut the wind. This is uncuttable plastic. And that's your windscreens. So those protect from a lot of the elements. Scissors not included. There you have it. Uh, this thing? Yeah. Huh? This guy? Him? What do you want me to do with these? You really want me to try and open them? Alright, I mean, I'll do it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open the wind socks to give you a better view of what I'm talking about here. This is the uh, black varietant. You want to, as you can see, it opens up. It's like a little mitten. Oh, hey, dude. 
but for a mic. So we're gonna, it's a bit like getting a condom on the first time. Takes a little, pinch the tip, or I don't, okay, we're gonna, should we cut or something? No, I'll do this like it. Uh, it's a getting on now. Be a little forceful fit with it. Don't, uh, I actually, I would be afraid to tear it. Looks very terrible. Um, now you have a Tootsie Pop mic. So, that seems really worthless. Uh, this is for like, pronunciate properly, Philip. So you have your P's. You don't want your P's to come through. You get a screen. Maybe we should put two on. But for now, we will finish the raw view. These I would give, uh, I would probably put a worthless rating on these. Um, I bought them, so they're already here. I'm okay with it, I'm gonna use them. But they are very thin, um, what some would classify as ridiculous, and just extremely unusable. Don't buy these scissors, they're dumb. Uh, the boom stand itself, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Like I feel like this is already an arm. If I can reach within an arm, I already have an arm, idiot. So, uh, but it'll work for what we're doing. Springs, like I said, are fully functional. I really appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna measure it. So we have uh, from, that's like 15 inches. I, mean, like, I guess we're gonna be doing math to 14 and a half. 29 and a, that can't be right. Let's just do 26. Pretend the elbow straightened out. 26 inches. Uh, Shay, about the, what's a human arm? Put your arm out real quick. 22. So, no, that's not a human arm. I was wrong. So, I'm going to retract my previous statement. This is better than a human arm. Uh, it won't get tired. It'll hold your microphone. You got your XP90X plug in, XRL. You got your, uh, Paint tickler, what's that? Shock absorber and a cord. Let me measure the cord. Perfect. That's a perfect 10. And oh, we should do the windsock. These are the three-inch variatin. I had went with. I would recommend if you're gonna get these, don't. Uh, let's just do the table so you understand what that. 27 and a half. And that's it. That wraps up the review for the, whatever this is called, mic boom. New, new year mic boom with the shock absorber and a clamp. And then we have the made in China, random words and stuff, windscreens. Thanks for watching and hopefully this was informative and helped you make a intelligent purchase.